Hi, welcome back to Alice Kitchen. A few weeks ago, I shared three quick side dish recipes in one video, and many people liked the video. So today, I'm going to share another three quick side dishes in this video. As always, they are easy and simple to make, yet super delicious. Are you excited? I am. <laughs> Then let's get started. For the first recipe, we will make this cucumber side dish that is called oi muchim in Korean. My version of it is a little spicy, sweet, and sour like a cucumber salad. Prepare two seedless cucumbers. Decoratively, peel half of the skin off in strips, lengthwise. Divide each cucumber into quarters, lengthwise. Then, cut the cucumbers into about half-inch chunks. Season the cucumber pieces with the salt. Mix it gently and set it aside for about 5 minutes. Meanwhile, dice the onion into little pieces. Finally chop the green onion. After 5 minutes, Add all the chopped vegetables and the seasoning ingredients such as minced garlic, hot pepper powder, sugar, vinegar, fish sauce, and the sesame seed. Mix everything well and then it is done. It's so easy, right? Store it in the refrigerator and you can enjoy it for a couple days. Cucumber tastes best when it's fresh, so I recommend that you finish eating it in 2-3 days. Next, I will show you how to make a simple version of a Korean zucchini fritters with a simple dipping sauce. It is called e h o b a k j e o n in Korean. We need about 1 pound of zucchini. Slice the zucchini into quarter inch pieces. You will get about 3 cups. which will be 36 pieces. Finely chop some red hot pepper. It is good for both the flavor and color. Place the zucchini slices on wax paper. And sprinkle the salt on both sides. Set it aside while you're making the batter. To make the dipping sauce, combine the soy sauce, vinegar, and the water. Mix well. If you don't want dipping sauce, you can add a little more salt into the batter instead. In a mixing bowl, combine the flour, salt, egg, and the water. Mix it well. The consistency will be a little thinner than pancake batter. Dip the zucchini into the batter. Place the zucchini in a generously oiled and heated pan. Keep the temperature on medium. Place 3 or 4 pieces of chopped red pepper in the center of the zucchini on just one side. Fry them until one side of zucchini becomes nicely golden brown. Flip them over and cook them until the other side becomes golden brown. Here are some tips for making the fritters nicely golden brown. Don't fry them at a high temperature and don't flip them over too often. Ta-da! Another recipe is done. The soft zucchini fried with a crisp batter tastes really good. The soy sauce and vinegar gives this zucchini fritter even better flavor. For the last recipe, Let's make some delicious stir-fried anchovy side called j a n m i r c h i b o k g u m in Korean. Prepare 2 cups of dried tiny anchovies. You can find them at a Korean or an Asian grocery store. For this recipe, I want you to use these tiny ones, not the normal sized anchovies. Because I think these tiny anchovies have a less fishy taste and have a better texture when eating them. Finely chop the green onions. Then 
finely slice the garlic cloves and the fresh red hot peppers. Put the dried anchovies in a heated pan without any oil. Fry them for about 2 minutes on medium. Occasionally stir them. By doing so, you can evaporate some of the bad fish smell of the anchovies and make a delicious side dish. In 2 minutes, the dried anchovies will get lightly golden brown. Quickly reduce the temperature to medium low. Now add the cooking oil, soy sauce, corn syrup or honey, and the sugar. Mix everything well. And then add the garlic and the red hot peppers into the pan. Stir fry for about 3 minutes on medium low. After 3 minutes, add the chopped green onions and fry for another 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, turn off the heat and sprinkle the sesame seed on top of everything. They are done. Put them in a glass container and you can enjoy them for several weeks. We finished them all in just a few days because they are so delicious. So today we made three tasty Korean side dishes. Isn't it amazing to make such a delicious food this easy and fast? I really hope you can try them someday soon. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon again and Merry Christmas.